In this video I'm going to show you how you can learn Unreal Engine 4 as an absolute beginner without any previous knowledge or experience of the game engine. Learning any game engine, or any other software for that matter, the hardest part is always the very beginning. When you download the engine and you open it up for the very first time and you take a look at the interface and you just feel overwhelmed. What now? Where do you even begin? And you might have some experience using another game engine that doesn't always translate to UE4. In my case, I've used the previous version of Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine 3 and UDK, and when I jumped over to UE4, it was somewhat familiar, but it was a totally different interface, and just getting around, becoming familiar with it, I felt like I was taking a step back. And even though UE4 is a lot easier to use than the previous versions of Unreal. It still took me too much time to get more proficient with it. And I tend to do things the hard way. I'm self-taught, so I don't take any classes, I don't go to school for this, I just sit down, make a decision that I'm gonna figure this out, then I go online, read documentation, tutorials, watch YouTube videos, then I test, experiment, and I do this over and over again, until I get it. Until I learn it. But this process is what takes a long time. Because you don't know what you don't know. So you don't know what to look for. And you can get distracted very easily, getting pulled into many directions, learning things you don't need to know yet. So when you begin learning a new software, a new game engine, and in this case UE4, and you are staring at the interface, you don't know what to do next. What's the best approach of learning UE4? How do you learn the foundation, the fundamentals of the game engine? And the best way to do that is to go to someone who already figured this out, who's already been there, who has been where you are now, and figured out a way to get where you want to be. And that's difficult to do because not everyone has the same goals for learning UE4. But when it comes to getting started, as a complete beginner with UE4, you need someone to show you what you should learn, in what sequence, and what you should avoid, because you don't need to know those things yet. And you can figure this out by doing the same thing that I did. Just simply reading documentation, searching online for tutorials, and watching hundreds of hours of YouTube videos. But I don't recommend doing what I did. Unreal Engine 4 was released in 2014, and it took me about a year to get proficient with the engine because I kept getting distracted being pulled into many different features of what UE4 had to offer and I never got to learn the foundation the fundamentals of the engine first so I constantly had to come back and figure out some very basic things that I missed that I should have known to begin with and it would have made this process a lot easier and a hell of a lot faster so after a year of dabbling with UE4, I finally got the fundamentals to the point where I had 100 pages of notes and this knowledge that I've acquired. And I knew that I couldn't be the only one dealing with this and wasting so much time and trying to learn an engine that is a lot easier to use than any previous versions of Unreal. So in 2015, I created and released a course on Religion 4 Fundamentals. And I was able to share how an absolute beginner could learn Unreal Engine 4 without any previous knowledge or experience of any engine. At the time, UE4 version was at 4.7. And as the years went by, UE4 kept getting improved and constantly updated. And even though the UE4 fundamental scores can still be used with the later versions of the engine, I felt that it really needed an update to a more recent version. And I've also learned a lot more new things and I'm able to communicate them better for how to learn UE4 as an absolute beginner. So now, years later, I've decided to update the entire course, redoing every single video. So you can learn Unreal Engine 4 as an absolute beginner using the most recent version of UE4. So here is Unreal Engine 4 Fundamentals Volume 1, The Essential Beginner's Guide to Getting Started with Unreal Engine 4. It includes 38 videos, 7 hours, across 2 modules. So instead of spending weeks 
or months dabbling with UE4, you can now learn UE4 all in one place, in just 7 hours, a third of a day. So this course contains everything you need to know to learn UE4 as a complete beginner without any previous knowledge or experience of the engine. And this is the first volume in the series, and I will have additional volumes, volume 2, volume 3, to teach you more and build on this volume 1. But before you get to any other volume, this is the first course you need to begin learning UE4. So now let me show you what's included in each video across two modules. This very first module is very important. You will learn everything you need to know, the core essentials of learning and getting started with UE4. So first, we're going to download and install Unreal Engine 4. We then go to create our first project and launch UE4 Editor. We're going to talk about how to manage UE4 projects because everything in UE4 is contained within the project. So you can't even launch UE4 Editor unless you have a project. Then we're going to cover how to start, save, and open levels. We're going to cover viewport mode options and various scalability settings. Then we're going to cover how to master viewport navigation. We're going to cover the content browser, which is asset management system in UE4. And we'll cover the modes panel. And you'll be using both of these a lot as you work in UE4. Next, we'll cover how to work with objects. You'll learn how to manipulate, move, rotate, scale, duplicate, and move any object around inside your viewport. We'll cover everything you need to know how to work with objects because this is something you'll be doing in UE4 constantly from here on out. Then we'll cover how to play test inside the editor. There are quite a few options and I will tell you which ones are the most commonly used and the ones you'll use most of the time as you play test. Then we'll briefly cover customizing your editor layout and then we'll cover a very short but very important exercise and will recreate the default level that comes with UE4. Here you'll learn how to insert all the necessary objects your level needs to have a functional working environment. So after finishing this first module, these first set of videos, you'll be in a very good place to understand and how to navigate around the Unreal Engine 4 interface and you'll be very comfortable using it. And this will set you up for the second module, where we'll go more into depth about creating environments. But this first module is extremely important in giving you the essential skills you need to start using Unreal Engine 4. Then in the second module, this is where we actually begin to use UE4 to create something. And it's where we're going to cover the fundamentals, the foundation of environment creation. So we're going to begin with the most important concept to understand, and that is BSP versus Static Meshes, and how environments are created in UE4. We're going to cover three ways to create geometry, the use of BSP brushes, the use of Static Meshes, and the use of Landscape. And then we'll cover the standard level creation workflow. This is a very important video, and it covers how environments should be created in UE4. Then we're going to cover creating with BSP brushes. We're going to cover the BSP brush basics for how to use BSP brushes. We'll do a simple BSP brush exercise so you get more familiar with using the BSP geometry tool. And then we'll cover more advanced usage of BSP brushes, such as using geometry editing mode. Then, we'll cover another very important topic, and that is creating new environments to correct proportion and scale. And then here we're going to cover the essential architecture dimensions you need to know to get started with. And this is a very common issue to where your environments don't match the scale and proportion to the player character in game. And the level just looks off. It's either too big or too small. And in this video I'm going to show you how to fix that and never have to worry about it again. Next, 
we'll go into overview of static meshes and their different mobility types. This is important to understand since each mesh that you insert into your level will have three mobility options, static, stationary, and movable. And you need to understand what each of these mean and which one to use. Then we'll cover how to create with static meshes, how to insert them, how to work with them, and how to build with them. After that, we're going to begin covering the difference between textures and materials. And there is a difference between a texture and a material in UE4, and you need to understand how each of them is used. We'll then cover working with materials and applying them onto BSP brushes. So essentially, we're going to cover how to texture BSP brushes. You'll learn how to apply to a specific surface of a brush or to the entire brush, different surface properties, and alignment options. And then we'll do the same thing, but this time we'll work with materials on static meshes. And the way you work with materials on BSP brushes is very different than on static meshes. So we'll cover that difference. We'll cover global versus local settings for the static mesh and how to change and override the material globally or locally. And we'll cover a few other settings and properties you need to know when working with materials on static meshes. We will then go into and begin covering lighting fundamentals. We'll start with a lighting overview and just like static meshes, each light will have a different mobility setting to choose from. Static, stationary and movable. We're going to cover each one, what each one is used for, and which one you should use as the default, and when you should change to other mobility types. We will also cover how to fix a very common error with four overlapping stationary lights. We'll then cover lighting exterior scenes by using three essential actors, directional light, skylight, and atmospheric fog. And these three is what you need to light exterior environments. And having a skylight is going to be very important as it helps to illuminate the indirect lit areas, the areas in the shadows. And I'll show you what you need to make the skylight work. We'll then cover how to use and light with point lights, spotlights, and rect lights. And you'll be using these three lights to light interior scenes. I will then show you how to use and why you should use light mass importance volume. And this is something that every environment you create should have. Unless of course you're using dynamic lighting. But if you're using any type of static or stationary lights, your environments are going to need a light mass importance volume. We'll then cover build lighting options using preview and production lighting quality. And then I'll show you how to adjust and fix auto exposure or eye adaptation. And auto exposure is where your eyes naturally adjust when you walk from a dark environment into a bright environment or from bright environment into a dark environment. And you see this light shift from light to dark or from dark to light. And in UV4, this happens automatically in every level you create. And it's often very distracting. So I'm going to show you how to disable it so you don't get those dramatic lighting shifts. We'll then go through a lighting workflow exercise where we put the concepts, principles, and techniques we've learned so far into practice. And then for the next two videos, we're going to cover the use of light maps. And these two videos are going to be very important because light maps is something you're going to be dealing with when using baked lighting. So first we're going to cover the basics of light maps, what they are, and how they are used on BSP brushes and on static meshes. And I will show you how to control the light and shadow quality across BSP brushes and on static meshes. And then I'm going to show you how to fix very common light map issues you're going to experience. And these are the light map seams in between static meshes. And I'm going to show you quite a few ways of hiding them, avoiding them, and minimizing them. We'll then cover inserting particle systems and what they are. How to add sound into your level by using sound waves 
and sound cues and the differences between the two. And then we'll finish with how to insert and how to work with blueprints. And blueprint is a visual scripting language in UE4. Blueprints are very powerful and this will be just a very basic introduction to what they are and what you can do with them. So in the second module, we'll really go into the fundamentals you need to begin creating with UE4. To get UE4 Fundamentals Volume 1, click on Add to Card below this video and go through the checkout process. And if you are watching this on YouTube or anywhere else, there will be a link in the description box which will take you directly to the page to get the course. After you add to cart and go through the checkout process, you will receive a download link in the email you used to purchase with, which will take you to the download page where you'll be able to download all the modules and included project files. This course is a digital download, so you download all the videos onto your computer and you get to keep them. There's no subscription fees, there's no sign up, you download the videos and you watch them at your own pace and on your own time. This UE4 Volume 1 Fundamentals course is only available on worldoflevelldesign.com and if you're not sure about World of Level Design courses and tutorials, you can try this course for full 30 days, 100% money back guarantee. So after you buy the course and try it out and you don't learn Unreal Engine 4, you can just email me within 30 days, let me know why you didn't like it and I will refund you money. If you don't like the course, then I don't want your money. I'll give you your full refund. And I've been running worldoflevelldesign.com since 2008. So I'm not going anywhere. I've been here for a while. And it's very important to me that you enjoy and learn from the course. So go ahead, download the course, and let's begin.